Okay, good morning, or good afternoon. If this all goes the way I have it planned, this is going to be Friday the 16th at approximately 12.30. I may or may not be here for this premiere as I'm going to be playing golf at 10 o'clock in the morning, and I don't know if we'll be done by 12.30 or not. I may try to push that back to 9, but we'll see. So anyway, I'm working on a couple of projects, and as you can see, that silly little box still pops up. So I need a fireworks background video clip, so that's not free. So let's see what the one that's free looks like. Okay, I'll get that one. If it's truly free, then I'll be all right. So I'm going to go to free download, and I need it to be 1920 by 1080 download. And then it always wants you to donate to the video author. And I've only done that with one person. That's someone I just recently started following for DaVinci stuff. And that's that buy me a coffee thing. A couple of people I know do it, so I may be donating them five bucks throughout whatever so this should be downloaded and it's going to go verify yep play is good so cool i'm going to close this go back into davinci and then i'm going to bring this up over here okay that's not the one i want so i'm in the wrong spot but that's fine i can leave that i'm going to go back over to the edit page go back into the media pool I'm going to go grab that download and hopefully this will work. I do not know if it will or not. So now I'm going to take out the school simply by moving this up here and just just to not get rid of it 100% yet, I'm going to um, just move it up so I can bring this track down now and put it in here and then see how that looks. I'm going to play through it real quick. But other than I can't hear the audio, which is strange because I thought for sure when I went to my downloads Yeah, the audio works there, so now I've got to go back over to here and figure out why this isn't working. So let me pause this for just a second. I'll unpause it, and it should be recording now. Yep, I see the numbers moving. So I've got to figure out why this isn't working. So I'm going to go into the audio track. I'm going to go into the audio track. I'm going to bump up the volume down here first. Hit play. There we go. And then what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and stop this. I'm going to bring it back to the original position. Um, now I'm kind of confused. I know. Oh, I just shut it off. Okay. I was going to say, I know there's another track in here, but I don't know how that's going to work. So I'm going to hit play. Okay, that makes sense because the video is on top of the thing, so I didn't really have to shut it off. If I were to move this up and put this on top, then that happens. So I'm going to put it back down here. All right, so what I want to do is I want to clip out in the fireworks that which I think is the coolest or that which I think is the neatest, and I'm going to bring it down to my fusion clip size and then go from there. So I'm going to scrub through this real quick.
I like that. I like that. I like that one right there. I'm gonna stop it. I'm gonna go back to. I like that one right there. That's I like. I do like that one. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna make a cut right here. And I'm going to play it from there. Camera's a little off on that one. And somebody's edited this, it looks like. So I like the beginning of this. I don't like the fact that I can hear people talking in the background. So I want the video, but I don't want to have the audio, which is fine. Pretty sure I can do that. So I'm going to cut this right here, too. That's fine. So now I've got my beginning. stop it right there I'm gonna go ahead and make another cut right there and because these are linked I only have to make one cut you, you are noticing that I hope so um, I'm gonna pause it again real quick all right I'm back that's a little bit longer of a break than I needed but I needed a break so that's cool so I haven't really done anything I was actually on a really important phone call and uh, I couldn't do work and, t and talk at the same time. So I've got this kind of divided how I want it. I don't want this section of the fireworks. Although I kind of do like up to about right there. So I'm going to go ahead and make one more cut on this right here. And then I'm going to separate that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start piecing this together. So the beginning is going to be that. That's going to be the beginning. Then I'm going to take this and fit it over here. And then I believe this was the one I liked. Yeah, I like that one second. So I'm going to bring this over second. And then we'll play that and see how that looks. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my playhead right at the end of the fusion I'm actually going to show it go back a couple seconds here good let's 
So what I'm going to do now is with the playhead right there, I'm going to select these and I'm going to bring that back to there. I'm going to play it. And I think that will actually be all right when it renders out. Yep, and it keeps going because of all, all this stuff over here. Now, before I do anything else, before I do anything else, I'm going to go up here to File. I'm going to save the project as, and I'm actually going to change the name of it instead of having copy of 2D school text, copy, copy, copy. I'm going to change this entirely to 1 Day to Go school reunion okay I'm going to save it there's a reason I'm going to go back into my file manager go back to project manager and now I have the one I was working with is now this one right here okay so if I switch over to this one this should be the original copy of 2D school text, copy, copy, and it, it does say copy somewhere. So now what I can do is I can go back over here to the project manager. I can open up my one day to go school, and you'll understand why I did that. This is all I want right here. I don't want anything else. I just want this right here. Nothing else. Plenty long enough, perfect. So I'm going to get rid of all this right here. All gone. Now, bring our playhead back. We will play it. Perfect. Absolutely 100% perfect. I've got to go back over here to Fusion. I've got to bring in what I'm working with, which in this case is going to be the text. And I want to change the word one to to one. And I'm done. That's how simple this is. Once you get a basic idea or a basic effect you like, all you got to do is save it, rename it, save it again, and you have a template. I can change this around. I can change the numbers around. I can. I, there's so much I can do with this. So now I'm going to go back to here. I'm going to bring the playhead all the way back over. I'm going to hit play. I'm happy with that. I, there's, there is one more change I want to try to effectively make. And that is I want to go back into Fusion. I want to go into my Shape 3D. And I want to bring it up on the first screen. So now my Shape 3D is this right here. So I want to elongate it, or what I call elongate it. So with the shape 3D merge or node highlighted, I want to go over here and I want to see what happens if I take the width this way. Okay, that's all right. Now I want to go back and play it over here, except it's too... too high. I don't like it being that high. I actually want to 
I actually want to lower it down just a little bit. So I'm going to go back into Fusion. And I want to lower it down. But it's going to affect, I think, how that works. So I want to go back to the Shape 3D. And I want to bring it down to about here. And then I also want to reduce the height a little bit. And then I want to bring it back up a little bit. And I think I want it right, right there on the, just touching those numbers. I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to hit play. And there's one thing I have to change. It's no longer days, it's day, singular. And then do I want to add one more text node and put something cheesy like hope to see you there or see you there or be there, be square or something like that. And the answer is no, I don't. So I'm going to go ahead and render this out. And this is going to be one day to one day to go mp4 add to the render queue get rid of this nonsensical thing render it out we'll see how long that takes it's going to be a whopping two minutes which is a little longer than i thought now it's also rendering in that school i forgot to take it out but because it's it's hidden nobody's going to see it and that's fine it's it's going to be there. It's just going to be rendered out or hidden, whatever. So we just killed two minutes, 18 seconds. So I want to thank everybody again. I, I know I probably say I thank you guys too often, but I cannot thank you enough for the support I have had on not only the Daily Da Vinci, but as well as my nightly stream, it means the world to me getting with you guys. I know we tease one another and I know we give each other a hard time, but I also know we genuinely care about one another. And, and I just absolutely relish that. So keep showing up, keep giving each other a hard time, keep giving me a hard time, and hopefully we'll grow. Got about 25 seconds to go. I really look forward to the day when someone says, can you do this? And we work through an idea or we work out what we want to do. And I've done a couple things and it's been fun. It's been, I don't think anyone's complained yet or if they have, I didn't hear it. So, all right, let's, that's done. Let's go see what this looks like. Got to bring back my icons. Put in my handy dandy shortcut. I hope I put that in the right spot. Uh, should be one day to go right here. Good. I like it. I'm done with it. So now I, I don't even have to do anything. I know it's going to automatically save. So I'm just going to close DaVinci. It's going to be auto-saved. Thank you. This will probably be a premiere. If not, I'll be here watching the premiere, but if it should be a premiere. I'm going to set it up as a premiere. Let's put it that way. Thanks, you guys.